What's up, everybody? Josh or Miho here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Antigama, entitled Meteor. This is released on Self-Made God Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they're based out of Warsaw, Poland, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very abstract, avant-garde style of grindcore. But a lot more diverse and crazier than that. Um, these guys have been around for a good little while now, almost a decade or so plus years. These guys have been around delivering some high quality grindcore, most notably for their more recent output, um, albums like uh, Resonance and Warning, some absolutely incredible stuff. That was during their time with Relapse Records. And of course, going back to some of their earlier material back when they were on Self-Made God Records. Um, in 2012, they came out with an EP entitled Stop the Chaos, which basically was a return from a couple of years since the last album, Warning. And they came back with a pretty much revamped lineup and showcased the kind of sound and skill that they know how to deliver. And they delivered probably one of the best EPs of that year. Just some incredible grindcore and pretty much... A sign of things to come for this band. Now after that EP, we have their sixth full-length album entitled Meteor. It's 11 tracks and it clocks in at around 29 minutes in length, so this is pretty much a breeze. It's a short record. And it basically continues on the same pathway that Stop the Chaos, the Stop the Chaos EP did. It starts up very unique and crazy, and then it just gets on right straight into the music. And this is probably one of the best damn things this band has ever put out. Probably the best lineup this band has had in quite a long time. And with um, Meteor, it just showcases the kind of hard work and skill that these guys know how to do. This is some sensational grindcore. Um, the guitar work on here is just merciless mercilessly heavy, mercilessly technical. I absolutely love the approach and the way the riffs are delivered. Very heavy sounding, very dissonant, a lot of great chord progression, a lot of awesome riffs and, and, and style, guitar stylings, song structurings. It's all there. I mean, take the track uh, Prophecy. That's where I probably hear some of the most unique and crazy riffs of this entire record. Just some amazing guitar work going on with that song to even later tracks like um, Fed by the Feeling and uh, Crystal uh, Tune. Just some incredible riff work going on with those particular tracks. It's so It stands out so much. It holds your attention so much. That's what I really enjoy about the guitar riffs on this uh, particular uh, album. Um, the bass, too, is also in line with the guitar when it comes to being very technical. You can hear it perfectly. It's very crisp sounding. It's very well produced, very well mixed. It's a very nice, clean, gliding kind of bass sound. It's it's not combative or anything like that. It definitely has its own standout moments, and I think it's really awesome the way the bass is being played throughout the record. Going back to songs like Fed by the Feeling and uh, Crystal Tune, I think you hear the bass very well evidented on those tracks. Um, when it comes to the drums, the drums also have a very clean and crisp kind of quality to them. It basically never lets up. It is very much relentless. I really enjoy the fast pace that the drums have. Very evidented on drum fills, rolls, blast beats, nice double bass. Very crisp and clear sounding. It's definitely something that holds your attention throughout the entire record. Just some incredibly breakneck speeds when it comes to the drums. It's not fast to the point where it's just going to tire you out and not interest you. It definitely does make you want to have interest in what's happening with this record. And another thing to point out about this album is the noise aspects. The avant-garde abstract aspects of this uh, band. They definitely showcase on the track uh, Stargate, which is one of the instrumental uh, interludes of this record. Um, basically, you hear some heavy grindcore riffs, but you also hear some electronic experimentation. Then you hear songs like uh, Turbulence, um, probably one of the more unique tracks of this record, something that breaks away from the grindcore craziness to create something a little bit more 
noisy and a lot more modern sounding to even the closing track Untruth. It pretty much is the most modernized track of this entire album. A little bit of everything, a little bit of abstract noise, a little bit of electronic experimentation, and then of course you get the heavy grindcore and, and destructive patterns going on with that particular track. I think it's definitely something interesting and unique that makes this album a lot more interesting than it already is. And uh, vocal-wise, this guy is a monster. His voice is incredibly gravelly, very guttural, very understandable. Just his delivery, his lines, his conviction is amazing. Great vocal work, awesome lyrical content. Um, definitely in line with what this album discusses and talks about. It's very much unique and very special. So overall... This is another piece of 2013 Grindcore that definitely opens your eyes and makes you appreciate what's being done here. This is some awesome stuff. Very well produced. Excellent musicianship. Awesome lyric writing. Great vocals. This is what a Grindcore record should feel like and sound like in 2013. And it is definitely right up there with the new PLF and the new Kill record. And speaking of which, there's also a three-way split that this band came out with, um just recently uh, with uh, The Kill and Noisier. That's an amazing split in its own right, and definitely another reason why Antigama should be checked out. So I'm going to leave you a link in the description box to the uh, Bandcamp, Self Made God Bandcamp, where you can stream this album in its entirety. Hear it for yourself. Be your own judge. You can buy this album physically. There's also going to be a version that includes a, uh, di a digipack version with a poster, I believe those are being sold through the label. Of course, you got the regular jewel case version. You can buy it there or from any grindcore distro or retailer, wherever it's sold. Um, but yeah, I'm going on to the tracks. If I had to pick any favorites, I would definitely have to say Collapse, Prophecy, the title track, Fed by the Feeling, uh, Crystal Tune, and uh, Perfect Silence. That's another great track to check out. So I'm going to show you the album again. This is a Meteor by Antigma. This is released on Self Made God Records. Check this out, and I'm going to give this an 8.75 out of 10. This is going to be near the top 20. I have a feeling about this. I really enjoy what I hear. You never know, but this is an awesome piece of grindcore. So support Antigma. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Ho out.